Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do your weekly readings. This is going to be for the sign of Taurus from August 22nd to 28th, 2022. Hi Taurus, how are you guys? In case nobody told you today, I love you. Two things I got to hit you with. One is I will never ever contact you under any circumstances. So if anybody's reaching out to you in any capacity, saying they're from Brooklyn, yeah, they might very well be, but it's not going to be me. All my information is in the box below. So if you need me for anything, if you want a personal reading, I think I have two openings left next week. And, or you want to, you know, make a donation that's greatly appreciated. Or if you just need somebody to talk to, I am in the box below. So please make sure you know who you're, you know, reaching out to. Or you know if somebody's reaching out to you that's not, you know, your your reader that's probably with any tarot reader across the board. I don't think anybody really reaches out. You, you know, that's, that's on you to do. Because nobody but nobody wants to see you guys being taken for your money. And there are poses and fugazi people out here trying to take you for your money. So please be mindful of that. Also, I tried to make a fun thing. I thought, what, you know, it would be fun. Let's do the dislike challenge. Everybody hit the dislike button. What the hell? It would be a way of you putting your energy out there. These collective readings are much different than getting a personal reading. There are a world full of people with energy out there. So, please, if you can't find it in your heart to do the right thing, that you come and take these readings and not be a gutball and hit the like button, that it makes no difference in your life, then you know what? Hit the dislike button. But hit a button and get your energy out there, people. Please, please and thank you. It's greatly appreciated. If you want to subscribe, I would love to have you. If you want, you know, to be notified when I upload, hit that little bell. I don't know, you know? So there's all that. Now, uh, what else is there? That's about it. Okay, so time is linear. These readings are timeless. So when you come across it is when you're meant to see it. Also, we are gender neutral. I may say he or she, depending on the card that comes out, because we're reading internal energy. But please, apply the energy to your own situation. Anybody could be in their feminine, excuse me, I got Aja, or their masculine energy at any time. All right? Uh, I guess that's it. So here we go. So with an attitude of gratitude, I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit of my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to deliver clear and concise messages for the sign of Taurus for their higher good from August 22nd through 28th, 2022. And I do say your higher good because this is not terror tactics. So we're not here to trigger you. At least I'm not. I'm trying to help you. This is about letting you know the energies you're dealing with if, if you resonate with, and that's if. Don't resonate if you don't resonate, okay? Don't make something yours that's not. So that you could better handle situations that may come up in your life and you could, you know, ascend to a higher vibration, all right? This is about doing better. It's not about trying to scare you to death, okay? It's not, that's not what it's for. Okay, all right, so here we go. We shuffle three times in case you don't know it's the Holy Trinity. So one, and that's why they throw out three cards too, all right, two and three. Okay, here we go. Not the energy out. Right in your face we do this. I do this right in your face. There's nothing to hide here, okay? You should be, whoever you're watching, they should be shuffling and pulling cards out in your face, okay? Otherwise, for me, when I watch somebody and I don't see what's going on with their hands, right away I think something's for gazy. There's some kind of contrived, you know, terror tactic. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't subscribe to that. Also, I'm not saying, listen, and one other thing. I'm not saying that there aren't people out there that think they're doing black magic, you know, uh, Whatever they're doing, all right? They could even be running around in the woods naked on, on pentagrams. I don't know. But if you don't subscribe to that, it's not going to affect you. All you have to do is trust in God. Ask God to protect you. Say, return to sender, and you're good. So, yeah. Now, whoever this is resonating with, whether you just came out of it or whether you're coming into it in a minute or whether you're in it right now, you are in an eight of cups energy. This is detachment. You are detaching from some situation in your life. Now, whether it's a work situation, a family situation, a romantic situation, you know, even a living situation, maybe even certain kinds of foods that you eat, but there's a detachment in somebody's life here. And because of that, you have, have, have to show temperance. This is a Sagittarian archetype. This is tempering your emotions. This is keeping you cool, not losing your top, not, you know, speaking without thinking, all right? So that's your challenge to, you know, get a grip on yourself, temper your emotions, don't lose your top. Now, at the foundation, what's at the foundation of this? Show me the foundation, please, and thank you. Okay, please, and thank you. Okay, okay. All right, hold on a second. 
At the foundation is the page of pentacles energy. This is a younger person. This is a studious person when they're upright. But this person right now, you know, this could be a very emotional, unbalanced person. They're not very grounded. They're probably loud and, you know, they're, they're irresponsible. Okay? They're not very loyal. Okay? They, you know, yeah. So this is, you know, an emotionally unstable energy right here. They're not, their money's probably all messed up. They're not, you know. Okay, what's crowning you? What's in the ethers crowning you right now? Show me that, please, and thank you for Taurus. Now, there goes Delilah. She's cute. You know, she's our little mascot. She's snoring away. Okay, so you got justice. So there, <clears throat> there is fairness and balance in a situation coming in. Okay, whatever situation that is for you, let me just make sure we're still filming. Thank God. Okay, I did this two times already. The phone didn't take it, so I had to delete so much on the phone. But okay, so there will be fairness and balance. It's crowning you in some kind of a situation. There could be a Libra involved. So now you got a Sagittarius archetype and a Libra archetype. This doesn't mean that they're actual Sagittarians or Libras. They could just have them in their chart. That's why it's very important to go to Cafe Astrology or a place like that for free. You put in your information and they'll tell you what your chart is. It's very important to know your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and your north node. Your sun is the sign you were born in. Your moon is your emotions. Your rising is the face that you show the world. And your Venus is for your love your money. Your north node is your mission in this life, all right, which you're supposed to be accomplishing. So here we go. Show me, please and thank you, what's coming in the near future for Taurus that they don't see. Please and thank you. Okay, so there you go. You got the seven of wands in reverse. This is fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and this is standing your ground. So whatever this situation is, you're it's in reverse. You're not standing your ground anymore. Now, what I will tell you about this about these reversals. A lot of people don't read reversals. That's all well and good. Everybody does it their own way. I was taught, first of all, you make sure all your cards, see all my cards are in the upright? After every reading, I put them in the upright, okay? So that if a card comes out in reverse, that's the way spirit wants it. Spirit's telling you that something's backwards in that situation. So upright, you would have been standing your ground. Now, I'm not saying that you raised the white flag, but you figured, screw it. I'm not going to be aggravated with this. Let everybody do whatever they want. I'm not I'm not standing my ground in this situation anymore. So good for you, Taurus. And really, that's a big, you know, that's a big accomplishment, Taurus, because, you know, you guys are bulls, so you're pretty stubborn. And I'm not saying, you know, that's just the fact. Don't shoot the messenger. I have Taurus in my chart. Now, how you're perceiving not standing your ground is that because you're not standing your ground, you could have a new beginning in something, okay? So maybe you were being a little stubborn, Taurus. I'm not trying to say anything. You know, it's one of your attributes. And you decided to stop being so stubborn. And now, because of that, you opened yourself up to a new beginning. God bless you. Show me what you're in actual environment here. Your actual, oh, Taurus, I'm so happy for you. In your actual environment, you have the Ten of Pentacles. This is financial security, okay? This is your energy, earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. So, you know, financially, you're pretty stable. Your bills are paid. Your family's fed, you know. Doesn't mean that you're rich like Donald Trump. It just means that, you you know, you're not in lack of. Spirit is telling you, this is the advice of spirit, not to get stressed out, okay? Don't let things stress you out, especially the little things I'm hearing, okay? This is stress. This is, you know, the nine of swords, this is, you know, being in your head and worried about things that maybe don't even exist, okay? So try not to do that. Try not to let yourself get stressed out about anything, especially if your money's okay right now. You got a new beginning, you know. There was a break, yeah, all right. So here, let's see what the, uh, okay, the most likely outcome. Now, don't forget, we all have free will. So, you know, anybody can do whatever they want. But if you're resonating with this, the most likely outcome would be that they, you have a lot of options. Whatever these options are, they could be options could be something as simple as so many different things to eat. Now that's a little ridiculous, but you know what I'm saying. It's it's, it's there's options. There's a lot of different things you could you could do now. Maybe because you stopped standing your ground, you got a new beginning. You you're okay financially. You know, just don't let stress get the better of you. Okay. At the bottom of this, you got an offer of emotions. Now, while this could be love, it could be friendship. It could, you know, it could be anything. But there is a reciprocated offer of emotion here. All right. Now, let's please clarify for Taurus, please and thank you. Spirit and ancestors, may I please have clear and concise clarifications for the sign of Taurus. For their higher good, okay? For their higher good, not to, you know, yeah. Three. Two. And the Holy Trinity, the trifecta over here, all right, is three. There we go. One, two, three. 
Okay. I gotta bang it over here because I don't want to scare the wild. Now we got detachment. Show me this detachment. Mink, yes. Well, you got the eight of swords. This is, you know, this is overthinking, okay? this is, you, You're overthinking. You're in your own head about something, okay? Maybe about this detachment. Maybe you're overthinking about how you have to detach or should you detach. You're already in the detachment mode because this is your, this is you right now. So, you know, it's you're in your head about it. Get snap out of it, all right? Snap out of it. Stop overthinking. It's not going to help you. Because when you start overthinking, you make up all these scenarios that don't even exist, probably. And then you're stressed out, right? You're stressed out about, you know, don't do that. Okay. Show me this overthinking. Oh, boy. Okay, good. Well, you got the Queen of Wands. This is the Fire Queen, okay? This is somebody who's smart, assertive, head over heart, you know, takes no bullshit. All right. It's not that she's unapproachable, but she's not the warmest energy in the world. This one will feed you dinner, but then if you aggravate a ball, she'll stick the fork in your head. Male or female. Oh my God, and you got the king of swords. Oh my God. So this is the thinking king, okay? This is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So there could be air and fire in your chart, or you could have you could be dealing with people that have air and fire. These could be two different people coming at you, okay? That are in your energy. This king of swords, you know, this is the thinking king. He's very logical, creative, open-minded, you know. He's a problem solver. He, he's, you know, he, he thinks about things. Now... Does he overthink? We hope not. So don't be overthinking. If, you, if this is you and the King of Swords and the Queen of Wands, you're not taking no shit. You're thinking about stuff. But maybe you're doing a little bit too much overthinking. So be careful on that. Okay. Now, oh my God, what's this Temperance here? What is this? This is Sagittarian archetype. I told you this, right? Okay. Okay. Tempering your emotions. There's a Knight of Pentacles. Now, this is, you know, Earth. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is the most solid knight in the deck as far as I'm concerned. This horse, he's got all four of his uh, hooves on the ground. His head is up. He's looking at it. He's got nothing to hide. This knight can look at you in the eye as Pentacles ask. So somebody could be coming in to offer you a new way to make money, because that's what this is, Pentacles. But somebody's coming in with some kind of an offer, all right? And it could be another Earth sign, like you, or somebody that has Earth in their chart. And you're going to be tempering your emotions about this. So maybe somebody's coming in to offer you a job. You're not going to get too excited, you know, until you know exactly what the deal is. You know, you, you're not going to, or if you are excited, you're going to hold it inside, you know. Like you're not counting your chickens before they hatch over here, okay? Somebody's coming in with a job or some kind of a way to make money, something like that. Show me this Knight of Pentacles, please, and thank you. I'm going to have to keep checking this phone because I don't want to go through the whole reading. Two times I did it, and then I had to, I had to do it all over. It's the third time I'm doing the reading. At this rate, I'm never going to get anything up. All right, now. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, because there is a new beginning. What did I just tell you? Somebody's coming in to offer you a new way to make money here. Maybe a new job, maybe a new you know side hustle, whatever it is. There's an offer coming in. It could be from a younger person because it's a night, but it's coming in to make some money. All right, and you're going to have to temper your emotions on this. You're not going to have to get overexcited. Okay, we're still filming. We're good. Show me. Show me this uh, Ace of Pentacles. What's this new beginning? You know, this could this could be anything. This could be, in, in, you know, yeah. All right, show me. Yeah, so now you got the King of Wands. So now you got the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. These are divine counterparts. These are soulmates. And they see each other. See, they're looking at each other. Okay, it's not like this. They're looking at each other. So, you know, this is now, you know, of the Fire King. This is, this is a stern, unemotional, head over heart, you know, abrupt energy, okay? This guy, when after she sticks the fork in your head, if you bust the balls, if you bust his, he'll cut your head off just to soon look at you. So this is like not taking no shit from anybody. So maybe this, you know, with this offer that looks like it's coming in for you, you're going to be very assertive and very, you know, on the you're not going to be taking no shit. So nobody's going to be bullshitting you is what I'm hearing. Now, what's this page of pentacles in reverse? What's with this unbalanced energy here? And, you know, it's pentacles, so it's money. Um, you know, maybe there's some things you're not... Oh, well, okay, so now this is being clarified by the king. This is you, Taurus. You're the king of pentacles, okay? This is the businessman. He's stable, emotionally... Now, man or woman, okay? Hardworking, confident, responsible. So you're very serious about making this money, okay? And securing your bag. This is not a joke to you. So if this if this energy is coming in a little sideways, a little erratic, a little, you know, um, what's the word I'm hearing? Unbalanced. You're going to put a stop to that. You're going to, you know, you're not going to take no shit. Right? You want to know exactly what's going on. Your T's are crossed. Your eyes are, your eyes are dotted. All right. All right. Whatever. Some of the things that... Uh, 
Okay, show me this King of Pentacles. So this is you and your element. That's excellent. You're feeling yourself here. Show me. Show me this King of Pentacles. Two more, please. Oh, okay, so we'll take those. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, we got it. All right, now. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, look here. You're going to be learning a new way how to do something. So, you know, with, with this offer, you could be learning a new way to make money, right? It's apprenticeship. We all have to start somewhere. So either you're going to be showing somebody how to do something that they don't know, or you're going to be learning how to do something new, right? It's probably a new way to make money, a side hustle or something like that, because that's apprenticeship. There are things that you don't know. Now, this is a cancer archetype, all right? So there could be somebody that has cancer in their chart, maybe you, there could be an actual cancer around you. But these are secrets, these are these could be lies, this, this is things you don't know, things in the dark, things being done behind your back. So, you know, be careful of that, okay? But you will be learning how to do something, and it's it's... Suffice to say, it's about a new way to make money. You let me know in the uh, in the comments below. Now, there will be fairness and balance coming in. So if there's some unfair, unbalanced bullshit with this unbalanced person, you know what? You're going to learn about it. You're going to learn about it. All right? Show me this unbalanced energy. I mean, show me this uh, fair and balanced, this justice card. Show me the justice card. Please and thank you. We don't have no purpose. Show me the justice card. Okay. Well, there you go. Oh, my God. Look at this. Again. Again with the Ten of Pentacles. Look. You got the Ten of Pentacles twice, and they're coming in diagonal. That's very... That's an important thing. This is... What did I tell you? Financial security. So, something's going to be fair and balanced, and it's going to have to do with your financial security. Okay? You know, this is... This is being... The bag is secured. This is not you know, in, in need of, this is, maybe you're not rich, rich, but you're no, you're not in lack, okay, and this is the sun, this is completion and ultimate happiness, so this, you know, having this bag secure is going to bring you very happy, it's going to be, you know, a completion, you know, maybe it's, it's just the thing that's going to put you over the top so that you're okay and you don't have to worry about things, okay, so that's really good, now this is a Leo, archetype, so there could be somebody that has Leo in the chart, there could be an actual Leo, or maybe you have Leo in your chart, so you got a Cancer, a Leo. What else we got here? What did I say? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, a Sagittarius because you're tempering your emotions there, right? Now, you're not going to stop standing your ground. This is crazy. Okay, look. You got the two Seven of Wands crowning you and coming into your near future. You're not going to have to stand your ground in a situation anymore. And it's going to make you happy not to do it because you're going to, you know, maybe you had to be really strict with your money. You're not going to have to now. Because there's going to be fairness and balance. So twice you got the seven of wands in, in reverse. That's not, that's, you know, not having to, to push, you know, push back. You don't have to push back. It's going to be easy now. It's going to, it's going to flow easy, I'm hearing. Show me the seven of wands in reverse, please and thank you. I mean, I have Taurus in my chart. This is making me happy. Again with the temperance. Guys, look at this, all right? You can't make this shit up. Okay, so again... You're going to see this. You're going to have to temper your emotions. Okay. So whatever this is, you might want to get really excited about it. You're so excited. You don't have to stand your ground and be stubborn in this situation anymore. You know, don't lose your top. Don't fly off the handle. Don't let your blood pressure go up. Just, you know, stay calm. Stay calm. Don't say anything out of anger or frustration. Just let people go argue with themselves. All right. Anybody wants to press your buttons, let them go press their own buttons in the mirror. Really just ignore them. That'll drive them crazy, trust me. Show me this, uh, so again, Sagittarius. So it could be the same person. Maybe that, you know, maybe somebody's pressing your buttons, twisting your balls, they got Sagittarius in their chart. You know, it's very possible. Show me. Oh, I don't want to me. Okay, hold on a second. Show me this temperance, please, and thank you. Okay, we got one. Here we go. We have, yeah, because, you know, huh. Yeah, painful endings and destruction. You might have to end something here. You might have to, you know, you could be ending, standing your ground. You don't want these swords stuck in your back, okay? So temper your emotions. Don't get into it, anybody. You don't, you know, this is, whoever does this, sticks these swords in your back like this, they're cowards. There's nobody even in the picture. They stuck the swords and they ran. So, you know, that says everything about them and nothing about you. One more for this. One more for this, please, and thank you. One more.
Yeah, Martha, look at this. Because you got the Ten of Cups. Ultimate happiness. There's ultimate happiness on the table for you, Taurus. You know what I mean? So, yeah. This is water. P Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Cups, right? Emotions. What I can tell you about this is do not let anybody use emotions against you, all right, to manipulate you and stick swords in your back. Because, you know, you have ultimate happiness here and you have financial security. So, that's amazing. You know, show me this Ace of Pentacles. What is this new beginning here? What is this? All right. Let's see. It's a lot of cards. We're going to take them. It's four. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Uh, all right. So, listen. There could be fear and anxiety with this new beginning, right? Because you don't know. You don't know what you don't know. So, everybody always fears the unknown. But, you know, fear, face everything and rise or face everything and run. Don't worry about things you don't know, okay? Because sometimes the very thing that's going to make you the happiest is on the other side of fear. But you don't know that if you got Aja and you're full of anxiety. And whatever you do, don't be nostalgic and sit in stagnancy. Don't let the fear freeze you like a deer in the headlights, you know, like you're so busy looking at the shoulda, coulda, woulda, shoulda, coulda, woulda, that you don't see, you know, the new opportunity coming out of the cloud, all right? Because look here, this is your energy, the queen of pentacles, okay? This is you again, Taurus, all right? This is, you know, a, now it's a feminine energy, but it could be mass, you know, it doesn't matter, all right? Like I told you, this is the businesswoman. This is confident, responsible, well-prepared, you know, a hardworking, stable, emotionally balanced energy, all right? So that's you and your own energy. And I really want you to stay there. Now, if you notice here, look, you got the queen and king of pentacles here. So there could be a divine counterpart coming in for you. This is your soulmate, okay? Or this is somebody that, you, that you're in love with and you can work very well together with. And now you got the magician. This is number one. This is a Gemini energy of the major arcana. This is being able to manifest and mix up. This is being able to make your life whatever you want. Okay, whatever you conceive, you could perceive. So, you know... You have everything that you need to manifest whatever kind of life and future you want. You know, happy life, happy wife, you know, complete ultimate happiness and financial security. So you have the ability to do that right now, Taurus. Go for it. Okay, now show me this Ten of Pentacles. What is this financial security coming in for Taurus? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Give it to me. Yep, give it to me. Come on. Ten of Pentacles, please and thank you. Can I please have cards for the Ten of Pentacles? Okay, one. We need two more. There you go. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There could be family involved, friends. You know, you could be feeling like you want to, you know, just let... Let loose, let loose, right? Have a little fun. Go out and party a little. Relax. Let your hair down. You know, because the stress, again, stress and stress. Look at the stress. It's coming in right next to each other. So don't let this, whatever this is, stress you out. Get out of your head, I'm hearing, okay? There's no reason to be this stressed out about anything, all right? Go out and have a little fun. And this is the truth. Ace of Swords, okay? This is the facts of breakthrough, the truth. So either you're going to get some kind of information or truth about something. There will be a breakthrough, but these are the facts. The facts are that you don't need to be stressed out about anything like this this much, that you got two stress cards coming right in next to each other. Maybe you need to go out, let your hair down, have a little fun. Relax a little, you know? And that's the truth, okay? Now, what's this Knight of Swords? What's this Knight of Swords? Show me. Please and thank you. Okay. Oh, uh, well, listen, there could be a third party situation involved in this. Now, listen, this is what I want to tell you. This could be, you know, somebody cheating a third party like that, like on an emotional love level. But this also could be like any kind of third party situation. Do, you know, they, we're not the three stooges here. Three doesn't make, you know, th three is no good. All right. So if there's some kind of a third party situation in your life, whether it be romantic or not, you know, it could be friends. It could the like, three, you know, it could be family. It could be anything. Kick it to the curb. Nobody needs this emotional pain. This is emotional pain, okay? This is probably why you're being stressed out, right? You're stressed out over some kind of a third-party situation, all right? Now you got a Knight of Wands involved in this. Fire. Oh, my nose is itching. My God, we channel it. 
Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This Knight of Wands is a very, you know, this is a very flighty energy. This is in for a good time, not for a long time. This is not somebody that's worried about long-term security. This is somebody who's just like out to have fun, like, you know, the weekend warrior out to have a party. They're already on their way out before they even stopped in. You know what I'm saying? So this is not a very trustworthy, solid energy. So if this is somebody coming at you or somebody in your environment, be careful with this person. It doesn't have to be a fire sign exactly. They could have fire in their chart. One more for this. Please and thank you. Okay, Ace of Wands. So now this is, you know, success and passion. Yep, we're still filming. Good. Okay, so yeah. So whatever this is, you know, you, you, you will be successful at it. You know, you will be successful at it, okay? But you have to really be careful, okay? Because you don't need this kind of energy. You know, look where it's coming. It's coming right at the, the, the you know, the three of uh, swords here. So, you know, maybe you have to be successful at getting rid of this third party situation, okay? Because then it's going to open up all these options. Look, you got a seven of cups here. What are the options? Show me. Show me the options. Please, thank you. Oh, it's a lot of snoring like a man with a COPD mask now. For a little tiny chihuahua, she snores louder than, than anything. I've had husbands that didn't snore as loud as this. Show me. All right. So now you got judgment in reverse. Okay. So there's not going to be a breakthrough. There's not going to be a breakthrough in this. You know, maybe, maybe you got so many choices you can't make a decision. So yeah, that's what I'm hearing. You know, so just, you know, just, yeah. Take a minute and just, you know, just think about what's best for you. You have to worry about what's best for you, okay? You're not baking. You can't please everybody, right? And you're not responsible for everybody. So, you you know, you got to make the right choices for yourself. And if it's a third party situation, whatever that is, whatever that is, three people do not, yeah, no. Um, you know, there's not going to be a breakthrough unless you make one. And there's a lot of different ways you could go with it. There's a lot of different ways. Show me judgment, please, and thank you. Two more for the judgment, please, and thank you. Spirit and ancestors, mean yachts. Okay, well, we'll take three more. All right, so now you got, so now, now there's no offers of emotion, okay? Maybe somebody realized they can't manipulate you with, with your emotions, okay? With your heartstrings. You know, people, if they know that you have feelings about things, they will take advantage, they will try to manipulate you. You're going to get some fast, this is fast forward movement. So whether you're moving fast out of a situation, fast into a new situation, or you're going to get some fast, you know, information coming in fast. It could be text, it could be phone calls or whatever. This, this is fast forward movement. So maybe now that there's no office of emotion, you're going to be moving fast. And there's a queen of cups involved in here. This is Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. This is a very warm, loving energy. Okay. This, this is somebody maybe, you know, this doesn't necessarily have to be you, although it could be if you have water in your chart, but this could be, you know, somebody that's in your energy. So this, you know, this is a helpful this is like the mom. I call her the mom of the queens, okay? This is, you know, somebody who's, it's, it's a warm, loving energy. I can't, you know, this is communication. This is support. This is fair. This is balanced, okay? So maybe, you know, yeah, whatever. One of these people got to go, so the emotions are gone, and then you're going to get some fast forward and maybe moving towards the warm, loving energy. So, yeah, do that. It's better. Now, you make the decision because there's a tower at the bottom of this. This is spirit coming in to give you a kick in the ass. So if you don't do it, whatever this is for yourself, spirit will do it for you. So you make the decision. But this could be a surprise. This could be, you know, a shock, something like that. So please be careful with that. Now, let's see. I'm sorry, Joey. There you go. What Kipper has to say about this. One, two... Dilly, dilly, three. Here we go. Show me. Okay. What else, Kip? All right. Community. All right. Number 39 or 12. Community. So this could involve your community. This could involve a community. It doesn't have to be the you know a physical community. It could be a community of people, like a church or you know, whatever you know. Um, you could have some unexpected income. What did I tell you? Somebody's coming in here with some kind of money. 
All right, so some of you are going to get some unexpected income. Maybe you're going to find out a way about learning how to make a new, new pentacles up here, and this is it, seven, eight, nine. All right, so 27 or nine. So now you have nine, nine. Let's see. Maybe you're going to go to a community and get some, you know, learn, make some money there, a new community. Okay, this could involve a marriage. So you got three. There could be a courtship involved in this. Number four. And expectation. Somebody's expecting something. So whether you're expecting, you know, money or you're expecting information or you're expecting, you know, a job offer or whatever it is. You got 28 or 10. So now you got two, two, let me see, three, three. I don't see any, uh, I don't see any uh, sequential numbers. Let's see if we get one more. So we could get you an angel code to go look up, right? Show me. Come on, give it to me. One more, Kipper. Yeah, please. All right, I don't think so. It's not going to happen. Kipper's pretty much done. How many times I got to go around here? Okay, oh, good. All right, so there you go. So now you got, there could be a false person around you. Be careful, okay? Somebody who's bullshitting. This is a fake person. They're only, you know, they're not showing you their, their real selves. And there could be a wealthy man involved in this, okay? 13 or 4. So, hmm. Yeah, I don't see any sequential numbers for you guys. Oh no, okay, you got three, three, three. So go look up three, three, three. That could be a that could be a message from your angels or your spirit guides. And at the bottom, twenty six, you got great fortune. So now you got two, two, two. So you can look up two, two, two as well. Twenty six, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's get you uh, some hidden truths. Okay, now this is something that either you have on your mind that you want to say to somebody that you're not opening your mouth about, which baffles my mind because anything that's in my head comes flying out of my face. Or somebody that somebody's something that somebody's thinking that they're not opening their mouth to you, all right? So take it for what it's worth. I say if you got something on your mind, let it out. Don't hold that shit in. Show me. Give me, give me some hidden truths for Taurus, please, for the higher good. What's, what's the information here? What's the information. Okay. I know I messed up everything. I want to be more than friends. You and I were too young. Oh, my nose is itching, Taurus. Okay. I wish I could share my good news with you. Anything else? Looks like it's it, Taurus. <clears throat> One more time around the merry-go-round. Let's go. Yep, looks like it's it. Oh, here okay, we got some more. I want to feel that way again. We need to let each other go. My life is not as together as it seems. It was my fault, but I blamed you. At the bottom, I can't stop thinking about you. Okay, one dragon oracle, Taurus. Don't forget, I'll never contact you. My information is in the box below. If you want to book a personal reading or make a donation, please let your finger do the walking. It's a snap, okay? Just, you know, your thumb won't even know what you're doing. Hit the like, hit the dislike, hit a button, get your energy out there. Yeah, thank you. Here we go. One dragon oracle for Taurus. Please and thank you. Come on now. Give it up. Thank you. Come on. One dragon oracle, please. Okay, well, we got all those we're not taking it. Come on. Clear the ground. <clears throat> okay, there we got it. It is number two, resources. So two is definitely the number for you to go look up. Two, 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 even four twos. But resources. There's a lot of resources around you. Taurus, use them. So on that note, little Dilly says goodbye. And until next time, I love you guys. Love and light.